Pinky Dabney. I've been working here for five months. Uh, I, I started my career four years ago and I've been wanting to drive trucks since I was 21 years old, but I had younger kids so they were too young then and I, they got a little older so that's when I decided it was a good time to get into it. And it was a hard decision because I want to be home with my kids and it's still currently a hard decision even now. Hi, my name is Mary. I've been driving trucks for 27 years. My CB handle's Pebbles, that's what most people know me by, hence the pebbles on my neck. Uh, I got into trucking because I was, became a single parent after a being a military wife for 21 years. And it was a way to take care of my children, which has been great to me because I put them through college and everything with trucking. So I went to truck driving school, which took about um, maybe eight weeks. Uh, I passed my test, I passed everything on the first try. Felt like I was born to drive a truck. Well, like I said, I always wanted to drive a truck since I was 21, but when I realized that I had somebody that could watch my kids as they got older, then I was living in Gastonia, I was married. So I used to watch this guy on YouTube called LaShawn Parks, and he convinced me to go for this company called Prime Inc. So I called them up, they got me in, and it, it, took, uh, it takes a week to get your written test, and then the next following week, it take a week to try to get your driving test. So it took me three times to pass the written test, and I actually passed it on the last, the last day of. And at Prime, they call it trifecta. You trifecta out if you pass the driving test on the first go. So I actually trifecta out with the driving test, but it took me three times for the written test, but I got it though. Well, what I, what I get a lot is that a woman shouldn't be doing a man's job. What I get is, why are you even out here? Shouldn't you be a homemaker or something? Shouldn't you be home tending to your kids? Shouldn't you be home, like, being with, with your husband or something? So, you get that a lot. Um. One of the things that makes me crazy about when people see female truck drivers is they think we're supposed to be, they have this image of masculinity and, you know, same-sex relationships and all that other kind of stuff. It's not necessarily, you know, what's going on out there. If that's your choice in life, then that's your choice. But when it comes to masculinity, I'm a 100% woman. <laughs> As you can see, I like to keep my nails done. I like to keep my hair done. I don't drive every day unless I've had my, eat. if I don't have time to run in and get a shower, then I bird bath or do whatever. But uh, I just feel like women a lot of times make better drivers because we look at every vehicle uh, on the road as somebody that could be transporting our children or, um, you know, that could be, that's somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's father, somebody's brother. Even when people drive crazy, we still have to be the road angels to protect them from themselves and to protect others from them. When people have, you know, disrespect for other vehicles, uh, it's, it's our job out there to be the protectors. And I just feel like that's, you know, one of the things that I, I love about trucking too. Most of the time, um, I would hear they were, they're steering wheel drivers, meaning uh, they won't start driving until they wreck the truck. But, you know, teachers on, everybody got to learn, you know what I mean? So, that's how it is. If you are a female on the road, the hardest part about being a woman on the road is hygiene. Because obviously as a woman, we have to stay clean a lot more than, than the guys do. So it, that, it, one thing I like about here at Midway, the way they run you, they run you the way you always will catch a truck stop. So, I mean, you can catch showers every day here at Midway, because some companies run you so raggedy that it is hard to catch truck stops because they run you to where sometimes they, you can't get it. Uh, a lot of times we get, we get treated better than, unfortunately, we get treated better than a lot of the guys do at the shippers and receivers because they're just happy to see a woman. <laughs> and we're, we're usually, we usually smell better and we're usually nicer. 
Uh, the best advice I can give them is to always make sure you're aware of your surroundings and do your best to make sure that when you go to bed at night, nobody can get into your vehicle. You never know who's parked around you. And that's for anything. If you were home, you would do the same thing. It's not any different than if you were home. But safety is another one. Like when you out here and you, you have to maybe be out here at nighttime, I recommend you having some type of protection, whether it's um, like a knife or, or mace or common sense or just being vigilant. When you out and about, don't be walking like this. Walk with your head up and surveil, look around. A lot of things out here, honestly, whether you're male or female, is truly common sense. Common sense and visibility. Like pay attention to your surroundings. I don't really feel supported because a lot of these guys are so inappropriate when it comes to men and women out here. And you can understand it because a lot of over the road truck drivers, I mean, they, they lonely in the truck. So if you see a attractive woman, that's, that's the first thing that comes to their mind. So they're not worrying about helping her, but so much, they worrying about trying to get into her, her pants, so to speak. Now, as far as the support, you do have a lot of drivers that love to see a woman out here doing what they do. That it, it actually makes them proud to say, wow, you a woman and you out here doing it like I'm doing it? Girl, high five, high five. But then, like I said, you got the biased guys that just, they don't like women. They, it seems like they just, they still stuck in old school times where they feel like a woman should not be in a man's field. Every once in a while, you'll come across a male driver that doesn't like to see a woman out there because no matter what the industry, there's men that's always gonna feel threatened you know, by what you do, especially if you're better than them, because a lot of times I am. <laughs> Not to brag, but uh, I don't get much criticism from men drivers. I really haven't, like, in, in all the years. Most of the time, um, men are very supportive, you know, in our industry. If they see a woman struggling, maybe they, they knew they're just getting into the industry, they'll come out, they'll help them try to back up into a, a parking spot at a truck stop. Um, you know, but we do that, we do that for whether you're a man or a woman. Yes, I do support women drivers. Uh, about 10 years ago, I seen a woman driver, uh, she was driving, so that's what inspired me to drive trucks to this day. I mean, if you feel like you qualify to drive a truck, drive it. Uh, today's uh, world is like equal opportunity, so, you know, everybody deserves an opportunity. No, I have not received any other counseling from other drivers. A lot of things that I've learned, I had to learn the hard way because I just, I don't know, like I said, there's a lot of bias when it comes to male truck drivers. It's just, it just is. Yeah, Midway's very supportive. Um, they, they will work with you if you let them know, like, you know, your needs as far as training or even hometown. That's one thing I like about Midway. Like, they're very flexible with understanding your hometown. So if you let them know ahead of time, they'll get you home either for your family, for whatever reason, they work with you with that. Life balance as a single mother is hard. It's very hard and that's one of my issues that I'm struggling with as far as working here at Midway and having kids at home. And that's, why, that's why I just said that they are very understanding with home time because currently they took me from being an over the road truck driver and now they making me like an on-call driver to where I'm still getting a paycheck. So they did have a heart when I told them that I don't have a family care plan at home. So it, it's hard because I don't have no babysitter or nobody to watch my kids. So I just, I work it out the best way I can, but Midway is very understanding with trying to keep you on the payroll, but still keep the business going at the same time. Being on the road as a female truck driver has not been difficult for me. It's actually been a plus due to the fact that I, when something's going on somewhere, I can get in a truck and ask for a load going in that direction. It's been a big benefit. You know, I've, I've been able to be there for births. I've been able to be there for baptisms. I've been able to be places for birthday parties and, you know, stuff that a lot of people would miss because they couldn't afford to travel. I can travel to and still get paid while I'm doing it. I don't miss much at all in life being a truck driver. It actually gives me the ability to do more related to family.
Not very often, but we are appreciative when we receive applications from lady drivers. Absolutely, our ladies are some of the most responsible workers. We are very proud of our lady drivers and we are very fortunate to have them be a part of the Migway team. I recommend for women that's trying to start their career in trucking, I first recommend to do your research. Don't listen to this person here. Don't just follow this YouTuber here. You really get into Google or books, like do your research. Don't just take hearsay, like take everything with a grain of salt. Like really, really do your research. Look at reviews, look at statistics, and don't just take the first company that come your way because every company is not for everybody. So my thing is look up the company's reviews, uh, interview other drivers, like get as much information as possible before you commit yourself to any one company, any contract, any lease. Yeah, so I mean, just here at Midway, I'm just so glad that I'm not just another truck number. Like when I call my dispatcher or call Bendel or call Dave, they're like, hey, Pinky, what you doing? I'm like, nothing, dang, you know my name? Oh, I guess we family then. We family. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm so proud that y'all guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.